Hey guys, I just wanted to hop on here real quick and tell you something that I discovered today. It was really common sense, but it just didn't click. So I have been out in the garden for the last several hours. I did a garden tour. I cleaned out some of my beds um, with things that were not producing well. My broccoli rob didn't do a dang thing this year and I'm pretty sure it's because of moles. You know, they just couldn't take root. Um, when I dug them up, I discovered huge tunnels that, you know, my hands sunk down into. So they just couldn't get uh, rooted well. So um, one of the things that I have been battling is slugs in my strawberries and I've had beer traps out and while they were working I've gotten several slugs um, and and so the beer traps do work uh, they just kept coming and it's like what the heck what do I do and um, it, I don't know it just clicked it just clicked uh, Duh, this is on my raised bed that's actually on legs and it's about three foot off the ground. And um, underneath it, I was storing all of my um, extra bags of compost and uh, composted manure and topsoil and all those things in plastic bags that lay on the ground. And then when I water, the bed, you know, the water drips down um, underneath the bed and onto the bags and rolls onto the ground and the ground's always wet underneath there. It was a breeding ground for slugs. Duh. So um, my grandson and I just crawled under, well he crawled under there, I didn't crawl under there. Um, crawled under there and drug all those bags out. There were probably eight of them. So the entire five by five uh, square foot area was covered in bags of dirt and manure and um, you know several few layers so as he drug them out I picked all the slugs off of the bags and put them in the uh, beer traps and um, drown them and we got rid of all that we could see i'm sure there are a lot more on the ground so i'm going to go out pretty soon i had it was hot it's noon it's 90. um we were right in the sunshine so i had had all i could do my knee i don't know if i don't know if i've ever mentioned this before but um, i'm bone on bone on one knee and almost on the other i've been getting injections they've worn off it's time in two weeks to get the next six months worth of injections and so I'm in massive agony in between and I, I'm wearing a knee brace. I know you've seen me wear my knee brace. And um, so I, I have to do a little bit and then quit for a while. And it was so incredibly hot and my knee was aching so bad that I had to quit and come in. We had just planted one, two, three, four big um, containers of potatoes before we did, tackled that job before it clicked and um, and so I had had all I could do as you can see by my grubby fingernails and I'm gonna flip this around see if you can see my grubby gardeners feet in desperate need of a pedicure thank goodness my state is finally starting to open up and those things have opened so next week it's pedicure time anyway um, all those slugs so I'm gonna go out after I've rested and cooled off and as you can tell I'm like a little haggard and um, I'm gonna go out and put a couple of beer traps underneath the um, the bed that's uh, like I said three foot off the ground it's shaded under there I mean perfect breeding ground it's like duh how did you not even think about that but I didn't, and if I didn't, then probably some of you didn't either. So my tip for today is don't leave stacks of anything that can stay moist and um, cool and give a place for slugs 
to breed. So that's my big tip for the day. And I think it's going to bless somebody out there because I'm sure blessed realizing it finally. I probably could have avoided the dang things altogether or almost altogether. Because again, it's three foot off the ground. I figured they were pretty safe up there. Uh, but not when you're breeding them underneath. So anyway, that's my tip for today, and I will talk to y'all later. God bless. Mwah. Take care. Bye.